So it's only the second episode of season three and already the big games are here. In today's episode of Bottoms Up, we are playing Barcelona at home in the Champions League, who are the holders of the competition. And then we've got the powerhouse that is Manchester City in the Premiership. Welcome back to the series. This is episode 29. Please leave a like on the video and subscribe if you're not already. But let's have a look at what's happened since you were last with us. Basically, they've all been wins. The last time you was here was for the first two games of the season against Crystal Palace and Leeds, 2-0 and 4-0. We certainly looked a lot better in the 4-0 win than we did the 2-0 win. After that, we played Ipswich. Didn't look amazing in that game. It was a 1-0 win thanks to a goal from Kenta Mahara. And Nicholas Oviedo had a goal disallowed. But as you can see, that was, it was a pretty tight game, actually, to be fair. And scoreline even suggests that. And I think if Ipswich actually got something from that, we probably wouldn't have much room to complain. But then we played Manchester United in the Carabao Cup third round. In the fourth round, we'd been drawn against West Brom, by the way. We won on penalties. It was 3-3 after 90 minutes. And we actually went 3-0 down, as you can see. We did have a goal disallowed for... Uh, Nick Jonas Schmetz on the 50 minute mark but Lasate Guara Guara with put, giving uh, Manchester United a 3-0 lead in that game we then came back in the second half with three goals in the space of seven minutes this was a team that we put out in that game and as you can see from the team it was a much rotated team we had Fiorotta in goal Nikolic our left back big reason for that is because uh, Joshua Chambers picked up an injury Palau right back, Jusic and Franklin, two of their young um, centre backs partnering each other in a, in a back four there. So it's a very inexperienced and young back four. Zaya Emery and Giardini for a bit of experience in midfield. Alistair Bruce and Saka out wide. Galay, a new young um, attacking midfield prospect, along with Nick Jonas Schmetz. Even on the bench, we had the likes of Francis on there. Bruno Silva was still on there as well. Um, Perez, Oviedo, we had players on the bench to come on. But yeah, looking at the stats, I mean, you could kind of say that we got away with one there. I was prepared to effectively throw the Carabao Cup and lose the game against United, but we won it on penalties 6-5. Then we played Southampton in the Premier League, and this is more like it, six goals to the good. Um, two goals from Oviedo, three from Van Persie and one from Bukayo Saka coming on late as a substitute. And yeah, I mean, unfortunately we did concede two, but we was back more to full strength in that game. And it was actually in the game against Leeds, was it? Yeah, I think it was in the game against Leeds. It's not showing it there, but Joshua Chambers picked up an injury, which meant that we had to go with uh, Peter Nikolic after that. So he, he's had a few games and, you know, I, I was a bit uneasy about it. I, did think, do we try and put someone else there like Escalada or something like that? But I thought, you know what? We bought him. He's young. He's talented. He's he's a wonder kid. We've got to go with it. We've got to give him an opportunity. And to be fair, he's not done a bad job. 7.3 in that game. Didn't really shine in that one with a 6.7. And then in this one, he's got a 7.4. So he's, he's had a good time of it. But that brings us on to today's episode Barcelona we play in the Champions League at home and then we're away to Manchester City in the Premier League. In terms of the Champions League and the past winners, Barcelona beat Chelsea in the final in Baku last season. So Barcelona are the holders of this competition and we're going to have a good idea of where we stand in the Champions League this year after we finish playing Barcelona. Then we play Manchester City in the Premier League. We have a look at the Premier League table. We are second at the moment. We've played a game less than pretty much everyone else. Our game in hand is against Fulham. And Manchester City are actually down in ninth position. If you have a look at them, they've only lost one game. That was away to Fulham. They've drawn a couple. One was away to Leeds. One was at home to Crystal Palace. And they've won a couple. One at home to Ipswich and one away to West Ham. But yeah, Manchester City being down in ninth place is not the best of positions for them. Let's face it. So let's get into the first of today's game, which is the game against Barcelona in the Champions League, no less. And here's the team that we're going to go out with. We've got Restes in goal, Nikolic at left-back, Pataka at right-back, Escalada and Kayunda in the centre of defence, 
Silva and Ochong in the centre of midfield with Saka on the left, Ranieri on the right, Mahara in behind Oviedo. The reason for them positions is because Shaquille Van Persie has got a slight injury. He's only out for a few days, but I just thought, let's not risk him. I am I'm in an iron about Joshua Chambers. He's fit. He's passed the fitness test and can play 60 minutes. But I just thought, do you know what? We'll keep with Nikolic and we'll keep faith with him as well. So let's get into this game against Barcelona. And, oh, this is going to be huge. I'm really nervous about this game because, you know, then that's Barcelona. They're, it's not like it's a poor Barcelona either. They're the reigning champions. They are a proper Barcelona team. And they're, oh, no, they're playing this horrible formation. This one that Inter Milan were playing that absolutely nullified us. Which I'm not a fan of this formation. I have to say they've got that Norberto Ray up front as well. He he was, a, I'm sure he was a Tottenham player. Um, obviously transferred to Barca. No highlights at the moment. Here we go with the first highlight of the game. Pataka with a throw in. Gets the ball back. Gives it to Ochoan. Gets the ball in. And it's a goal for me from Ranieri. And that referee's got his finger in his ear. He's going to disallow it. Oh, I hate these referees. Oh, I love this one though. He's, he's giving it. Nguyenieri with a goal, Ochoan with the assist. Both teams have had two shots on target. We're the team that scored from our shot on target. Here's the next highlights with Barcelona. Gavi, I mean, he's still in the game. Pellegrino, I know that name. Balde as well. Oh, Ochoan's putting a really handy interception there. Gives it to Escalado, who goes to Kayunda, out to Pataka. Nguyenieri gives it back to Pataka. Oh, Nguyenieri's just got through. Can he score? Oh, no. Either he scores, someone scores. That's a chance we need to be taking. Still 1-0. The only really good, decent chances have fallen to us. Mahara. Nguyenieri, second goal of the game. Fourth of the season. A really, That was a training ground Free kick there. The assist from Nikolic. It was basically Mahara to Nikolic. And Nikolic inside to Nguyenieri. And we're 2-0 up at half-time against Barcelona in the Champions League. And this would be a really, really good game to win if we can see it through. Right, so the second half start. And we're only a couple of minutes into it. And it's starting with a Barcelona highlight. And they've pulled one back. Referee, no. Not going to stick your finger in your ear or anything? No? No? Okay. Apparently he only does that for us. It's because we're special. There's that Norberto Ray again. That Alberto, I'm sure he came on at half time for them as well. So he's made an instant impact within three minutes of being on the pitch. And we're going to make a substitution soon. Oh, just going to make it then and now. Here we go. Alberto with a throw to Gavi, to Calvo. Oh, of course, Calvo's playing for them. Oh, Restes with a really good save. Mahara can bring it away. Tackle comes in. Goes out for a throw. Right, let's... Yeah, I forgot that Aurelio Calvo's gone to him. He's come on as a substitute. Right. Pataka's looking quite tired, but he's actually playing reasonably well. So, I think we take Saka off and bring Alistair Bruce on. Oviedo can come off for Schmetz. And I think as well, I'm going to lower this to a balanced mentality and then we give it to about the 80th minute before we make a next substitution I mean, Barcelona have got the better XG but his corner comes in Mahara picks up the loose ball gives it to Nikolic can he get a cross in? he can and Schmetz has scored Nick Jonas Schmetz with the goal it's 3-1. There's a little bit of daylight now between us and Barcelona. Right, here's the next highlight. Kayunda starts it with us. I don't like highlights that start in our own, basically our own goal mouth. Here's Bruce. Comes inside. Finds Schmetz. Oh, is it the woodwork? The metalwork, whatever you want to call it. Right, we're going to make a next substitution. I think Pataka can come off. For Palau, because he's looking rather tired. And I think Bruno Silva can probably come off for Warren Zaire Emery. And... Mm, 
Chambers can come off and Nikolic as well. I mean, Nikolic is having a fantastic game, but it's more the fact that he's tired is just to get some extra legs out there. Don't often make three changes in one go. But it just felt the right thing to do. And we've got four minutes of time added on. We're going to do it. We're beating Barcelona. And I've got to say, we've. it's not like we've been lucky to win. Or it. Oh, God, we're giving that away. And they're going to score. Norberto Ryan got to see if it, referee's got his finger in his eye. I bet he don't disallow this one, though. I mean, to be fair, he didn't disallow our one earlier. Oh, he has disallowed it. Lovely jubbly. Lovely job. Well done, ref. Yeah, I mean, 3-1 win. I think we are, you know, you look at the stats there. We've had more shots on target. We've got the better XG. Yeah, they've got more possession and better passes completed. But I would say we deserve that. That is a really good result. A win against Barcelona on the opening day of the Champions League is always a good result. And that will now take us to the next game against Manchester City. Javi is disappointed at a humbling defeat. We've received a couple of million for that. We'll praise Ethan Luanieri. Well done, lad. Manning is off on loan. We, we've done a pretty good job this summer as well of sending players out on loan. Right, I'll bring you back for the game against Manchester City. Okay, so one change for the team against Manchester City and that's Joshua Chambers comes back in for Nikolic. So it's Restes in goal, Chambers, Pataka out wide, Escalada and Kayunda in the middle, Silva and Ochong in the midfield with Saka and Wanieri out wide, Mahara in behind Oviedo. Shaquille Van Persie is still not fit. He had a fitness test, I think. No, he didn't even have a fitness test. It's not required. Still remains some way short of fitness, as you can see. But let's get into the game. Manchester City, always a big game when you play Manchester City, even when they're ninth in the league. They're always a dangerous team. To play. I mean, they've got Trubin, Lewis, Karasev, Gradiol, Machuquero, Liazino, Paolo, Neves, Lamina, Mao, Jeremy Pino, Javier. Gu I mean, it goes to show what good players they've got. The fact you can still recognise the likes of Pino and Lamao, uh, Yamal, so in Jao Neves, Gradiol, Rico, Lewis, Trubin, all that sort of stuff. So, obviously, a very dangerous team, Man City. They've lost their last two. But the fact that this is away from home, it is at the Etihad, then you you know it's always going to be a tough game against Man, Man City, especially away from home. They're going with 4-3-3 formation. Pino and Yamal out wide. I mean, that should just be a cheat code, really, shouldn't it? Especially when you've got Jal Neves in your midfield as well. They certainly started the match better according to the stats. And the first highlight goes to them. It's Yamal that's going to take it. The corner, that is. Machuquero to Jeremy Pino, and that's a goal. Oh dear. 1 0 down after 20 minutes to Manchester City, and it's going to be a long way back from that point, we have to say. I mean, they've had four shots on target already to our one. We've got an XG of 0 0.02. Obviously, they're dominating possession because that's what Man City do. And the thing is, it's really hard to know how to combat. This Man City team. Oof, it's 2 0. Jal Neves, Rico Lewis with an assist. I don't know how he gets an assist really for that, but yeah, this is not looking pretty, I have to say. We're, we're playing really poor as well. Oh, and there we go. Escalada's now gone and got himself sent off. It's just going from bad to worse. Just end the game now, ref. Do you know what I mean? You, you don't need to punish us anymore. We'll put Mahara out there. Bring on Jusic for Saka. Oh, this is not going according to plan. And they're up to fifth. Just one point behind us. This will be our first defeat of the season. I'm not used to getting league defeats. I'm, again, we're just careless. We give the ball away. We then win it back. Pataka gives it to Mahara. Cuts inside. Has a shot. It's well over the bar. You're better off playing rugby with an attempt like that, to be honest. And it's half time. And by the end of the first 45 minutes, we're 2-0 down and down to 10 men. So that's not going great. I think what we will do as well, because I'm kind of in damage limitation mode here, is we'll just drop our mentality to balanced. 
<coughs> Man City have made a couple of substitutions at half time. Yeah, this is not what I was hoping for for this game, quite obviously. Well, I'm going to make a couple of substitutions. So, Nuanier is not playing well, neither is Oviedo, to be fair. So, Oviedo can come off for Schmetz. Um, Zai Emery can come off for Bruno Silva because he's on a yellow card. I don't want another red card. It's not the end of the world. We don't need to panic. I mean, it's the league. It's a marathon, not a sprint and all that sort of stuff. Chambers intercepts and then just loses it. Maybe it's too early to bring him back and it's 3-0 now. Adrian Velasco with the goal. They're going to have a look at it, but it'll probably be given. It didn't look offside. Oh, well, it is offside. Okay, lovely. I, I do like being wrong on occasions. Chambers with a throw in. Amir Jusic, one of their youngsters, was on loan at Rangers last season, centre back. It's now with Chambers. Didn't really have anyone in front of him to play the ball to, but here's Madding Ochong who gives it away, wins it back. Nice little touch there from Ochong in the midfield. That was a nice bit of skill. Zaire with the ball over top for Schmitz. Oh. I mean, if that had gone in, it could have given us a bit of a chance, but I think we'll make. A final couple of substitutions. Pataka's having a poor game. Nwanieri likewise is having a poor game, so he can come off. We we'll swap him and Mahara over. I mean, if it stays 2 0, yeah, it is what it is. I can't say I'm particularly pleased about it, but we have a corner. Mahara puts the ball in, comes out to Zai Emery. Oh, I thought Alistair Bruce was going to score. It's another corner, though. I mean, to be fair, we've not actually played that badly, considering we're down to 10 men. Mahara puts the ball in, Trubin comes out and collects it. I mean, possession-wise, we're actually more possession than Manchester City. We've got a better XG than Man City. Uh, we've actually done pretty well, considering we've lost the game 2-0. We were down to 10 men before half-time. I'm proud of your efforts. Well done, lads. I'm not proud of you, Escalada, but never mind. Zinedine Zidane, their manager, is pleased with the victory. I'm sure he is. We'll quickly just do the press conference. Come out of that. Escalada is banned. He says he's banned for one match. It's going to end up being, being three. But... Um, because it always is three games. Right, in terms of when we come back next, I think we'll probably come back for something like Cobbenhaven and Newcastle. It gives us a chance to play a few games off camera. Um, and then we've got a Champions League game away to Cobbenhaven and then Premier League game at home against Newcastle. So that will be in tomorrow's episode. So thank you very much for watching, folks. Please leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, all that sort of stuff. And I'll see you tomorrow for episode 30. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.